Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video as Lee walks through my body. Are you a ghost, Lee? What's going on here? What were you showing me? Stampy loves L for Lee. Oh, and I do, Lee. I do love you. <laughs> anyway, yeah, welcome to the video. Another video, once again, in my lovely world. Uh, a place where I'm sure a lot of you uh, have come to love and recognise as much as I do. And uh, if this is the first video you've ever watched, um, this is my lovely world. Um, this is the first world I made in Minecraft, with my first ever time playing Minecraft. And uh, yeah, I've sort of stuck around here ever since. And in this video, I'm going to be doing something other than building my roller coaster for once. Because I've finished my roller coaster, my creeper coaster is 100% finished now. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to go and start building a shooting range. And uh, I'm going to explain a bit about that later on. But for now... I'm going to do my normal thing and add someone to the love garden. And I haven't added them yet. I'm going to write them in here. And it's uh, Elliot Bloxum. So uh, hopefully I'm going to spell this person right. Uh, write it as quick as I can. Elliot Bloxum. And uh, this is their Xbox username. And the reason I've added them is because uh, a while ago, probably about three videos ago, uh, I left people a challenge. Uh, to suggest the backstory of Agatha, the friendly creeper. Uh, basically, if you didn't see the video, I met a creeper that was friendly and um, I got along with them and they didn't blow up. Uh, but unfortunately, straight after the video, they did blow up. Uh, but in that video, I said, if you leave the backstory of Agatha and explain why she became friendly, uh, I'll pick one of the comments and add that person to my love garden. And there's a lot of amazing comments. I got about 200 comments overnight, so I had a lot to choose from, but... Uh, the winning comment was just quite a nice one, and I decided to add uh, Elliot Bloxham because she said, Agatha the Creeper is friendly because she spawned in your lovely world. Seeing you build the Creeper Coaster, she assumed that you were building her a statue. So she decided to become your friend, and that's why Agatha is friendly. Smiley face. So I know it's not the most complicated or in-depth backstory, um, but I thought it's, uh, it, could be, it could be quite legitimate, you know? Maybe she thought that... Um, I was building the creeper coaster like for her or just I loved creepers so much that's why I was building a creeper um, I don't know it, it sounds like a plausible backstory and it wasn't too long and it sort of just is quite a happy nice one uh, so yeah that's why I decided uh, to add Elliot so Elliot Welcome to my love garden. I hope you uh, fit in and you get on with all of the other signs that you're going to be next to. And now I'm going to go and grab a dog. And who shall I take with me today? All of the dogs there looking excited, waiting to see who I'm going to pick. I'm going to take... Um, oh God, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Who have I taken in a while? I take Tika. Tika hasn't been with me in a while. And Tika, where are you? Tika. Ah, oh, here's Tika. Tika's the one with that little grey patch. See on the back of its uh, back? Uh, Tika's got a little grey patch there. That's how you can tell it's Pika. Uh, Tika, sorry. And I'm going to grab some pork chops for me and Tika. And then let's go over to my fun land. Um, I'm also in this video going to be joined uh, by Elfa Lee, who you saw briefly earlier. And also Chloe and Longbow uh, are joining me in this video and they're going to help me out. And as I said, I'm going to be building a shooting range and... Um, Basically, it's going to be using a bow and arrow, obviously, um, <laughs> rather than throwing snowballs, I guess. And there's going to be, like, points so that I'm going to build some models of, like, different, like, monsters and stuff. And then you've got to fire the arrows to knock the signs off them. And you get a different amount of points depending on how big the sign is you knock off. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm also going to have um, minecart tracks that you've got to try and knock off as well. And uh, you get points for them as well. So uh, first though, I'm going to head over to my fun land, which takes about half the bloody video getting there. And then I'm going to ride my roller coaster first because... Um, in my last video, I made a little bit of progress. I started building the main body of the roller coaster, and then uh, I saw a mutant dog, and then that was pretty much the end of the video there. And so I'm going to try and... Um, uh, yeah, get a little bit more done in this video than I did in the last video. And uh, you'll notice here that um, I've built a path. So uh, me and Lee built this. So there's a path leading that way and that way. So I can have rides all on either side here. Uh, that is where the shooting range is going to be. That's the entrance there. And you can see uh, all of my friends there waiting for me to help me out. Uh, but first things first... It's time to ride, for the first time ever in a video, uh, my, creeper cro uh, my creeper coaster and sort of show you how it works. And, oh, I, I went the wrong way around the queue. I know, I skipped in the queue. Um, I, do you guys want to join me? Do you guys want to join me on the roller coaster? What, what are they all doing over here? Um, okay, long way's going through my chest and stuff. Uh, here's Chloe, here's Lee. Um, hopefully, if I get their attention, they can all join me and we can all go on the roller coaster together. Are they going to join me? 
Uh, let, me, let me put down a sign quick and see if uh, we can all ride on it together. Because it's, it's really good fun. There's a lots of um, points in it where like you can see other people that are riding as well and um like you can sometimes bang into each other and do like all other sorts of fun stuff so um oh looks like longbow's lagged out okay looks like it's probably lagging because there's quite a few of us uh let me just put down a sign um let's ride uh chart right it's quick let's ride coaster they should be able to understand by that i don't mean literally ride a coaster that you put your drink on i mean the roller coaster <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. And um, yeah, so I've added quite a lot more to it. Um, like you can kind of see uh, in the background, there's a lot more tracks and I've added uh, quite a lot of other things just for you to look at and see. And I'm going to ride it first and let you see it all briefly. And then afterwards, I'm going to go around and like uh, show you everything separately. So um, I guess I guess I'll go first and then Lee, you're going to follow on behind me. OK, let's do it. Let's go. The first official riding of the Creeper Coaster. Okay, so this beginning part you've probably seen before uh, from some of my earlier videos. We go up here into the creeper's mouth and then we go down through the creeper's throat and then there's the massive TNT core that uh, Agatha was apparently missing. And oh, Tika's are following me. Oh, don't fall off, Tika. There are a few dangerous moments and some moments with lava and stuff and I can hear a zombie. You stay alive, Tika. I don't want a dog to die in my creeper coaster. That would just uh, ruin it. So yeah, um, you should have seen most of this stuff. And oh, there is. There's a zombie down there. Why are there still zombies in here? Look how bright it is. And there's Tika just running. Oh, Oh, Tika there just pushed into one of them. I think Tika there just pushed into Chloe or something. <laughs> anyway, here's the big bit, the bright tunnel. And this is all the stuff which you won't have seen before. A sign there just says Stampy was here. And there's Tika still running after me. <laughs> and then I ride down here and there's a big squid there. And there's a ladybug you just about got a glimpse of. And then going back up here, we slow down. And you got a, like a chance to look around. And there's Tika still following behind me. You can see there's a moose. Then we drop back down. There's a nice little waterfall there. And then there's the lava. Oh no, Tika, you okay? I heard Tika squealing. Oh, Tika's on fire. Tika on fire. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh, that was Stu. That was Stu who threw me some mushrooms. Stu, here's some penguins. And then you drop down and then you bounce and then you ride down here and Tika, are you okay? What's going on? I can't enjoy the ride while Tika's burning. Tika died! Tika died up there! Tika died up there with the penguins! Did you see? I think I got a glimpse of Tika up there dying. Why did Tika follow me? Right at the very beginning of the video, Tika died. Oh, that sucks. Um, oh man. Oh, sorry, Lee. I've ruined the end of your ride. Okay, I need to, I need to add a grave up there for Tika. Tika. Oh, sorry. Sorry, people. Um, okay, and I might as well carry on showing you the roller coaster. But, oh, this sucks. Right at the beginning of a video as well. I was doing all right. A video hadn't died in a while. Um, I might as well show you some of this stuff. Um... Uh, here you can see the ladybug, uh, which is really awesome. I actually stole this design uh, from Elaine Mattier, whose uh, world I featured not long ago. And uh, yeah, she had built something like this. And um, yeah, I basically copied it. And it's done with an actual mushroom. That looks cool. And uh, here you can see a, uh, a big squid here. And uh, yeah, so um, as I said, I built that out of uh, mushrooms. And then, oh, here's the squid now. Uh, here you can see ballistic squid. Sorry, I wasn't talking about that squid. <laughs> this is the squid that I was on about. And hello, ballistic squid. Welcome to my video. Uh, you may recognize ballistic squid. Uh, you may recognize him in general anyway, uh, if you watch his videos. Um, but on my channel, he's the person I did the speed building contest with um, uh, a few weeks ago. And so yeah, ballistic squid's going to be joining me in this video. And he built this squid. Uh, because he is a squid, I felt like he was a bit more qualified qualified uh, for building a squid than I am and so yeah he built me that big squid and we had the idea of uh, me coming down here to show you the squid and then me actually talking about him and not the massive squid <laughs> but yeah I'm just going to walk around the track for a bit and show you some of the uh, the attractions you might not have had a chance to see uh, here's a moose which I built and uh, there's a little baby moose there which Lee built which um, I don't know they just look kind of funny but I don't know the mooses just make me laugh for some reason um, yeah here's a nice little pool of water that you go through um Coming down here is where Tika got set on fire. And all oh, some cobwebs. I think Lee added them. Yeah, so just some lava you get a very uh, quick glimpse at as you run past. And it is night now, so I do have to be uh, carefully for googlies. It's not just the big creeper I've got to worry about now. I'm going to worry about the little ones too. Uh, but yeah, leading up here, we get to like uh, one of the other like drops. Um, you can see a big massive tree there uh, made out of wool. That's where the water leads to. There's a bunch of bloody googlies waiting to ruin my day. And here... 
is probably the best part in the entire roller coaster. You don't really have much time to see it. But this little fella in here, this is Stu. And he is a uh, mushroom stew salesman. And uh, he set up his office in here. And so basically all his business is, is as people ride past really quickly, he tries to sell them mushroom stew. So you can see there it says, please try my mushroom stew. And so, I don't know, when we were building this, it was me uh, Ballist and Ballistic Squid mainly. And... Um, uh, for this room anyway, and we were trying to decide what to have in here and I came up with the idea of it just being someone's office with just a roller coaster going through it and then like we came up with his backstory and said he's mushroom stew and uh, you might not have seen in the video because I went uh, past very quickly. Oh, I don't have any, um, I need I need a minecart. Is there a, is there a crafting table in here? What's in there? Oh, that's just full of mushroom stew. Um, let me make a crafting table quick and uh, make a another minecart and I'll show you what, what actually happens when you're not going ridiculously fast. Uh, yeah, so when you go on this detector rail, uh, it fires out mushroom stew uh, from that dispenser there, and um, it fi fires and lands there, but then as you go past, you pick it up. So uh, every time you go past uh, stew here, uh, you get another bowl of mushroom stew, and I'm just going to fill that back up there so uh, all of the, the future customers have something to look forward to. And, uh, oh, there's one last thing I want to show you at the very top here, uh, where I'm going to have to build Tika's grave um <laughs> there's there's the tail on the moose as well there by the way yeah this is this is the uh, the next big uh, drop and these are penguins uh, in my last video uh, you may remember I said about maybe building penguins at the top here and I decided to actually try and do that uh, but I didn't realize that you couldn't like really make penguins in Minecraft and this is the best we could do so that's their beak and that's their little flippers and uh, their feet sorry and there's their little flippers and yeah so these are the the penguins um this penguin is called Flipperstein, and uh, Lee named him Flipperstein for some reason. And uh, this is the one I named. This one's called Tux, I called this one. Uh, so yeah, that is Tux the penguin. And uh, this bit's quite cool. No, no, it looks like Ballistic Squid might have lagged out or quit or something. Uh, oh, well, hopefully someone will invite him back in. Um, oh, look, there's a giraffe there as well. I think Longbow built a giraffe. I didn't see that before. <laughs> and yeah, anyway, yeah, this bit's quite cool because there's a big drop. You kind of... Let's see if I can do this. Oh, don't, don't die. Ow. Ow. So yeah, you kind of fly off, then you bounce off there, and then you land on here, and then you run down here, and oh! Oh! No, 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 no! No! Oh! Oh! Did it bash it? Didn't break any of the roller coaster! How lucky was that? Look, what a neat little creeper hole! How lucky was that? That could have been very problematic. Right, let's let's plug this hole in. And look at my health. Look how close I was to dying there. I need to go to sleep. What am I doing? Why am I staying out past my bedtime? When I stay out past my bedtime, I either die, something else either dies, or something gets blown up. I'm going to go to sleep, okay? <laughs> Anyway, I think that's pretty much everything there is to see with my creeper coaster. Hopefully you like it. I mean, I want all of my rides to be like playable like you can have fun with them and actually ride them and stuff and hopefully you did uh, enjoy that look at my creeper coaster it took quite a while to build and oh no i just got killed and where have i respawned oh, i'll respawn back in my room um okay well it doesn't matter i guess i can go to sleep here and uh, i'm just gonna grab a sword now and then hopefully um people would have picked up my stuff and they can give it back to me what a fail in this video so far people have lagged out my dogs died i've died <laughs> unfortunately unlike me the dogs don't respawn which uh, kind of sucks and oh man i just can't believe Atika died uh, so yeah i'm guess i'm gonna have to have a a grave right at the very top of my creeper coaster next to one of my penguins um i guess which <laughs> is gonna be kind of rubbish <laughs> i actually thought of this video like it would go quite well um because because I'm not building anything big for my um my shooting range I'm mainly just building like smaller targets and stuff I'm not building any big buildings I kind of did all that before the video so I thought that I might actually be able to get something finished for once in a video rather than it taking ages but um because of all of the complications and deaths uh, unfortunately that's probably not going to happen but oh well I'm going to get back over towards my fun land as quickly as I can and then just get straight to building hopefully someone has uh, grabbed all my stuff or is keeping guard of it so um, I can have all the materials I need um yeah, I might as well explain properly what I'm doing for the shooting range. Uh, so it's basically going to be a long area. You have a bow and arrow and like a little place where you can stand. And I'm going to make aliens out of like brightly coloured walls and jack-o'-lanterns. And then, oh, have I got any? Ja I don't know if I've got any jack-o'-lanterns on me. I didn't think about that. And uh, then I'm going to make zombies as well uh, with pumpkins. And what, what does that say? Oh, God, I've gone into third person. Uh, squid had to go. Okay, uh, fair enough. I guess I guess Squid had to leave. I think he he had to like go out somewhere for a certain time. But oh well, he, he made his appearance. He's now been in a Stampy Longnose Lovely World video, and uh, 
What are you doing here? What? How did you build the giraffe to protect all of my loot? Ah, oh, cheers, guys. Okay, so unfortunately, I think I forgot one of the most important things, which is, like, the pumpkins. Uh, so we're going to have to use your imagination for now. But I'll show you how everything else is going to be. And how, how have I got more stuff? Oh, okay, I've got my armor I need to put on. Um... I still think I've got more stuff than 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 I had before. Um, yeah, I, I forgot my pumpkins, which is a really stupid thing to do. Um, but yeah, I, I explain how how it, how it is going to work anyway. Do I have my paintings on me because they're important? Yeah, I do. Okay, so yeah, this is a little sign I put up for the rules. So if you kill an alien, you get one point. If you kill a zombie, you get two points. If you kill an evil slug or snail, you get five points. And uh, if you hit an animal, you get minus one point. So I'm going to build like a moose around the place. And I'm also going to build, uh, I don't know, I think Longbow's going to build a giraffe and stuff as well around the area. And so, um, yeah, so if you hit one of the animals, you lose a point. And uh, the slugs and snails are going to be uh, minecart tracks and uh, minecart tracks with chests in them. And uh, so the, the minecart tracks are slugs. And then the minecart tracks with chests in them are going to be snails. Um, I think I forgot the minecart tracks though. And Chloe, what are you doing building something all the way over here? You know we're supposed to be building over there. You're not helping. <laughs> and, oh, there's a giraffe on my roof. <laughs> I think Longbow's just building giraffes absolutely everywhere. <laughs> when did he go up there to build that? <laughs> Is that what was happening when I was riding around on my roller coaster and stuff? Was he there just building a giraffe on my roof? Um, why did I come up here? What am I doing? I've completely bloody lost it. Um, I need pumpkins. Are there any pumpkins? Oh, I'll take some of these. I oh, know my inventory's full. Um, hey, let's dump some stuff that I don't need. Uh, actually, I do need them. Uh, let's just get rid of... I don't, I don't need that. Um, don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, okay, I, th I think this will do for now. Let's just get rid of some of this rubbish. Um, yeah, but I don't have any pumpkins on me, which is really annoying, but... Um, I can get some of these get some of these snails with me. And yeah, let, let's just go and build this thing, shall we? Before I waste the entire video doing nothing. <laughs> I do have a tendency of that, don't I? Like, a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but some people have said to me that they enjoy my videos, but they're sometimes too long, and I should do them, like, 10 or 15 minutes rather than 20 minutes. But if I did 10-minute videos, I would literally get nothing done. I take 10 minutes to, like, introduce whatever it is I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so this is how the things are going to be. The zombies are going to be green. And it's going to be like two blocks and then a pumpkin face. You're going to have to use your imagination from now because I'm stupid and forgot them. And then uh, I'm going to use levers for the for the arms. And then on their bellies, I'm just going to put like uh, a single painting. So they're going to be, uh, oh God, no, a single painting, please. A single painting, please. There we go. Thank you. And so, yeah, they're quite difficult to hit because it's quite a quite a small target. Uh, I'm also going to have aliens, which are going to be all, like, very bright colours, like uh, purple, uh, in this instance. And these are going to be uh, a bit bigger. They're going to be, like, um, that size. And then I'm going to put a jack-o'-lantern on their head. For now, it's going to be orange wall. Use your imagination. <laughs> and then I'm going to put uh, paintings uh, across their bellies, like... Uh... Oh, come on, work, work, work. Can now give me... Why does it give me double ones when I don't want them? And now I do. There we go. So that, that can be its painting there. And then also to make them look a bit more like aliens, I'm going to put on, um, yeah, some, some little like antennae, like sort of things there. And also I'm going to give them a button nose. Oh, I don't have any buttons on me. Um, okay, they can have a, a long nose for now. Um, yeah, it looks better with a button. I don't, do I have any smooth stone on me? I don't think I do. I've been so blissfully, like, unprepared this video. Normally I've got everything planned out, but uh, I did everything very quickly, so I kind of, uh, yeah, I didn't get everything done. And I'm also going to have my slugs going around, my slugs and snails, and these are going to be quite difficult to hit, which is where you get uh, five points for them. So I'm just going to have a little, like, mini minecart track going around like this will do. And then, yeah, you've got to try and, uh, if I go around like that, I guess, um... <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm making this up as I go along. Uh, yeah, so this this can be like the slug track, and I need a few power rails in like uh, this every now and then. And uh, I'm going to have it so that when they're quite close, they move quite quickly, so they're hard to hit. Uh, but when they're far away, they move quite slowly, so that that way they're it's sort of is, is about as hard to hit the slugs, no matter how far away they are. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really matter about being exact or anything. It would make sense to put a power rail there. Then I only need one redstone torch. Um, yeah, so then I'm just gonna have a like the track going round by itself, and then you've got to try and try and knock them off. So uh, this one can be a slug, 
and I place that in there, give it a little push, and then, then, then off he goes on his little journey. So he'll keep looting, uh, looping around like that, and then when you hit it, it will break it off. And that's quite cool. Lee's doing it so that it's going to go inside the mountain and come back out. And uh, I'm also going to add, like, some scenery and stuff, like, um, I don't know, um, like a spaceship for the aliens, I don't know, maybe something that kind of looks like it's in a zombie apocalypse for the other stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do another zombie all the way back here. be quite a difficult one to hit, um... As everyone seems to be lagging out of the game. Sorry, this has been a very big fail for one of my videos, but you're probably used to it if you watched <laughs> through a few of them. So yeah, there's another zombie back there you've got to try and hit. And then say so over here, I'm going to have a yellow alien. I mean, I could do the, the alien, so they're kind of like that with like a green head. But it's just annoying because you can't do like, um, like there's nothing else with a face. Like you kind of need a pumpkin to do the face. And it does look better with a button as well, like a button nose. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put a... Um, Oh no, it's supposed to be like this, and they're supposed to be longer. Yeah, so th this is the alien here, and so the aliens you don't get much points for hitting. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a painting, but I'm going to try and do a double one, like, up his middle, if it will actually give me what I want. There we go. And see, so, yeah, there's another alien that you've got to try and hit there. <laughs> there you go. Look, looks just like a real alien. I mean, I could do them all completely green, but I kind of decided to have the zombies green, because that's sort of, like, green skin zombies. So this is kind of what the shooting range will be like, and then... Uh, can can you put paintings on giraffes and stuff? Um, yeah, oh yeah, you can. So I'm just going to litter the giraffe with paintings. So if you hit one of these, then you actually lose points. And I might actually make a moose. Do I have any uh, brown wool? I don't. Once again, don't have what I need. So I'm just going to make a moose uh, out of wood for now. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to rearrange this all. This is very much a mock-up explaining what I am going to do. So uh, hopefully this will give you an idea if you want to do something similar. And uh, yeah, I just need to go and make a... Um uh, a staircase and a fence gate. So I need two fence gates and a staircase. And now I can go make my moose. And oh, my inventory's full up again. And oh, whoa, look at all those arrows. I need to get some arrows in a minute. What can I dump? Uh, I can get rid of that. Okay, so have I got what I need? I do. Yeah, so all of the animals and stuff, if you hit them, uh, you just end up losing points. And I probably should have done the moose side on, to be honest, to make it a bigger target. But it doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, so once I've put this down, I'm going to have a quick go myself and sort of see how well I can do. And I think I'm going to do it as like, you've got a time limit. I think I'd do it so you got, um, I'd say probably about 30 seconds will be okay. I think any longer than that might be too long. Maybe a minute if I had like enough obstacles. And Longbow, get out that slug. You're not supposed to ride the slug. <laughs> I, I was well chuffed with myself. And like, I, I knew that I wanted to have like these as um obstacles like the mine carts but i d couldn't decide like what animal or creature i wanted them to be but when i thought like they could be slugs and then the ones with like uh the chessing can be snails i was quite pleased with that idea and uh let's just put this snail going around here and then um i put a few signs on some of these other animals i don't know i don't know what that is meant to be to be honest but <laughs> oh well that will do and uh, yeah before the end of the video i'm gonna have a very quick go with my bow and arrow here and uh, yeah see if i can actually hit anything for once um Right, okay, so how long shall I give myself? I give myself, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds, I guess. Um, you, you're going to have to time it because I can't time and shoot. Three, two, one, go. So that is, that's two points. Uh, can I hit the one over there? No, nope, come on, a bit higher, a bit lower. Oh, come on, I've got to hit that zombie. There we go, that's four points. Um, I'll see if I can hit that. Oh, there's a sheep, there's a sheep in the minecart. Quick, I'll shave you, sheep. Oh, no, no, the slugs are attacking the sheep. Oh, it stopped. That might make things easier. There we go, I hit it. And there's, oh, that, oh, do you reckon I can hit that one? I've got to time it just right as it goes in. Um, oh, it's come back out. Uh, oh, there it goes again. Can I get it? There we go. Oh, nearly. I'll get that, I'll get that next go. Just watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, did I hit it? I think I hit it. It didn't come back out again. Did I hit it? Maybe. Uh, I'll see if I can hit that alien there. Uh, I got it. And there's another alien all the way over there. Get out the way, sheep. And get out the way, Lee. Don't get out the way, Lee. Get out the way. No, oh, Lee's been another obstacle. I'll kill you, Lee. This will go right through you. There we go. And uh, I think that's everything I wanted to hit. I'll see if I can hit that giraffe in the distance just for fun. Come on, a bit higher. Yay! And I hit the giraffe and die, sheep. Die. Die. <laughs> die. <laughs> there you go. So this is kind of what the shooting range will be like. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty going to rearrange all of this, to be honest, and make it look a lot nicer and stuff and uh, add some more stuff into it. But you've got a general idea. And so, yeah, by the next video, um, I would have finished this and uh, we can have some fun playing on it. And then I'll start building my next ride, whatever that will be. So that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.